hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to launch google chrome in incognito mode in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in power automate desktop there is no direct way to launch google chrome in incognito mode right so what i will do is first i will right click on the google chrome icon which is which is a shortcut created on the desktop right when you install google chrome and then you have to click on create shortcut and then click on yes your shortcut has been created then again right click on it go to properties and at the end of it you need to add double hyphen incognito and then click on apply and then click on ok now when i double click on this shortcut you will see that google chrome is open in the incognito mode and here you can see incognito word is available right so first what i will do is i will go to the folder and from here i will choose get special folder here i have chosen the desktop so this action will give me a direct path till the desktop right and the path will be stored in the special folder path variable i will click on save and then i will go to the system inside system i have this run application action i will choose this and from here i will choose the variable which is having a direct path till the desktop and then i will specify the application name which i want to launch so on the desktop i have google chrome which is the name of that application right and now what i want to do is i will choose the windows style as maximized right and after application launch i want to continue immediately right and in the on error property here you have option to you know enable it if you want to retry the action if this action has failed and you can also set a variable when this action fails and also you can invoke a, another subflow just in case if you want to call another subflow and if there is any error after doing all of this if you want to you know go to the next action you can choose this or you want to repeat the action you can choose the repeat action option or you can choose the go to label when you choose go to label in that case you will have to declare a label before using it right i will click on return to parameters and then i will click on save and now i will run the bot and here you can see that in cognito mode google chrome has been launched in the incognito mode right and the title you see it has new tab so keep the title in uh, mind because that is important right so i will go back to the power automate desktop so for example when you use this run application right and if there is any error you want to handle it right so for that what i will do is when this run application action is executed i want to wait for that window to open right and what is the window what is the title of that window the title of uh, that window you can choose uh, so the title of the window is new tab and then i will I will keep new tab and star you know any character or before and after it and what will be the class so class is your google chrome 
so title of the window is new tab and the class is chrome underscore with get win underscore one right and what do you want to do you want to wait for that window to open and once it is open you want to focus this window right and then I will click on save now when this is done right what you want to do you want to attach to that application which is Google Chrome and from here you will choose attach to running instance right and what will be the title title is new tab and the browser instance will be stored in the browser variable and then I will click on save right so what we have done so far is we have got the direct path till the desktop using the get special folder action and then I have used run application which will run the application which is Google Chrome and as you remember that in the properties we have set it as incognito so whenever this uh, application will be launched it will be in the incognito mode after launching that application I want to wait for that window to open which has the title as new tab and then I want to attach to that window and then the browser instance will be stored in the browser variable now when this is done I will go to the web page I'll choose go to web page action and here I have to specify the URL where I want to navigate so let's say I want to go to the www.google.com and then I will click on save I will close the browser and then I will run the bot and here you can see that it has attached and it has opened that google.com website right so this is how you can launch Google Chrome in incognito mode in Power Automate desktop because in Power Automate there is no direct way to launch Google Chrome in incognito mode so this is how you can this is a workaround which you can use in order to open any website in the incognito mode in Google Chrome application so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day